This I think is just ridiculous. I mean, it's the lightest 14 inch laptop that I've ever used. In fact, it's lighter than the 13 inch MacBook Air. Just think about that. I mean, this is what all laptops should feel like. Um, it almost feels like a really thin slate. I mean, just look at the way I'm holding this, you know, just two fingers. So guys, this is the Asus ZenBook S14, okay? It's the latest flagship laptop from Asus. And you know, let's look at it very objectively with uh, design first. Overall, a very classy, minimal and a very clean vibe. And I'll tell you why it looks this good very shortly. Second, despite being super thin, it's got all the ports that you're going to need every day. Okay, you've got an HDMI 2.1 port, two Thunderbolt 4 Type-C ports, an audio jack and a USB 3.2 Type-A port. Third, an absolutely fantastic display. A 14-inch OLED touchscreen, amazing viewing angles, super sharp speaker display and really thin bezels. And fourth, you get the latest Intel Core Ultra Series 2 chip with up to 32 gigs of high-speed RAM and 1 terabyte of SSD storage. And so it definitely feels like a laptop that you really want to have. But the most important question, pricing. So here in India, you get two variants, okay? One with 16 GB RAM for 1,42,990 and one with 32 GB RAM for 1,49,990. You'll see the links in the description in case you're interested. So everything sounds great in terms of specs, right? But do you really need this laptop? How's the daily performance? How good is the battery? How's the sound output? Is it a laptop that you really need? Let's go. And you know, I want to start with design because that's something I think is really unique about it. The material of the lid, I'm not sure I'm able to capture it exactly as I see it, but it's got this very premium ceramic matte finish on top of aluminum, which Asus calls Ceraluminum coating. I mean, basically, it's got the scratch resistance of ceramic and strength of metal. Moreover, it just feels so much more different than any other laptop you'd have seen. Honestly, it's not even the kind of laptop that you'd want to put in your bag. I think you'd want to flaunt it. And because it's really lightweight and portable, that's not going to be an issue. The lid, it lifts up very smoothly without rocking your laptop and it has good resistance across multiple angles. Rubber pads do a good job of keeping the laptop in place and, you know, it does not slide. You've got a four speaker system right here and we'll do an audio test a little later in the video, so hang tight. And then here you've got this really unique grill design uh, with the ASUS monogram logo. And these holes are actually CNC machined cooling vents that also help with cooling. But I do want to point out uh, two things over here. At first, I was a little skeptical whether my palms would rest easily in this area over here. But you know, despite having a really small size, there's just about enough place for you to rest your palms and type comfortably. Though I admit I do have small palms. And second, I would have liked the option of having a type C port on the right side just so that, you know, I have flexibility of where I want to plug it, depending on my desk configuration. And there is no LAN port, uh, but, you know, that would have just made this thicker and kind of ruined the whole sleek vibe it has. But overall, big fan of how they've crafted this. It's really smart and elegant at the same time. I love it. Now, before I talk about performance, I want to touch upon the display because that's the one thing you spend the most time looking at on your laptop. And it's a very good looking display for so many reasons, okay? Uh, to start with, it's a 120Hz OLED display with 500 nits of peak brightness. So obviously the colors are super vibrant, the blacks are immensely deep, amazing contrast, the outdoor visibility is pretty impressive and the display feels buttery smooth because of that refresh rate. The bezels are quite thin and it gives you 90% screen to body ratio, so a very nice immersive 16 is to 10 display. It's also certified for many things to ensure that, you know, you get great color accuracy and altogether ASUS terms these displays as ASUS Lumina OLEDs. And this is a touchscreen, so whoever is used to using it like that, great for them. And all in all, a very blissful display, but there are a couple of things that I do want to point out. First, OLED displays tend to have slightly more reflection than LCD displays, but you know, with just a little bit of adjustment and boost in brightness, you should be able to find the right angle to work with. Second, you may have heard that OLED screens can have burn-in issues. But first of all, if there is any burn-in that happens within the warranty period, ASUS says that they will replace it for free. So that's pretty good. And otherwise, even in the MyASUS application, you'll be able to see there are quite a few adjustments and algorithms that are in place to make sure that OLED screen does not burn out too quickly. Now, one really cool thing is that it's got this ambient light and color sensor in over here. So your screen's brightness and color temperature, it adapts automatically depending on your environment. And that way it's got less strain on your eyes. Pretty cool. Oh, and the laptop detects every time you walk towards it. So it turns the screen on, scans your face, and then, you know, logs you into Windows. Very nice. Okay, now let's talk about performance, okay? And as always, there are two parts to it, right? The sheer raw performance and the battery performance. 
So let's talk muscle first. It's got the latest Intel Core Ultra 7 Series 2 chip. It can run up to 32 gigs of LPDDR5X RAM with a very high clock speed and it comes with 1 TB high speed SSD. Now, one very interesting thing about this laptop, which is unlike any other small or very small compact laptop, is that this can draw 28 watts of power and sustain it without really throttling. And the reason behind that is the chip is designed in a way that the RAM is physically brought very close to the chip. So there's low latency, there is higher bandwidth, and the overall size of the motherboard has been reduced. And that means that there is lesser area that it needs to cool down, leading to higher thermal efficiencies. And as I said, overall sustained power draw, great performance. In summary, it draws more power, sustains higher performance for a longer time as compared to any other small or very small or compact laptops that you've seen. And then it's got the new XC2 integrated graphics, which is known to improve graphics performance by over 1.5 times uh, compared to the previous generation. And having said that, I tried to play Valorant and Call of Duty on this laptop and I was pleasantly surprised. I mean, just look at the gameplay here in front of you. It's very stable, very consistent, high frame rates and really smooth. And this, by the way, I'm playing at highest resolution that the screen supports, which I think is incredible. But of course, uh, Valorant is not as demanding as, let's say, Call of Duty. And that's what I started playing here. And this is where you start paying attention to all the details in the graphics, right? So look at the reflection on the hand, right? Uh, the rain that's falling and even the texture of the floor, the raindrops hitting the floor. I mean, seriously, getting this kind of performance from integrated graphics is really impressive. And yes, not all settings are set to high. I actually just turned the game on. And if you must know, these games kind of optimize themselves depending upon the performance and the, uh, the graphics limits uh, of your machine. But honestly, very impressed with how far these integrated graphics have come along. And so really, while these are not your, you know, gaming laptops, I'm really surprised at the gaming performance. I mean, the fact I can play AAA titles as good as this one did, it's really amazing. But what they are is your everyday high performance office or work laptops, right? So you could be launching and running as many apps. Uh, you could be switching between them nonstop. You could be browsing through multiple tabs and just doing a lot at the same time. But you will not feel a single hiccup in performance. And you know, I really like how silent this laptop is. I mean, I've barely heard the fans at all, despite it being summers right now. In fact, this one consumes 40% less power and it gives you more performance as compared to its predecessor. So that is a big improvement. And you know, you can totally work on Adobe apps like Photoshop or Lightroom without any issues. And if you do want to pick this up for video editing, you can, uh, you can, you know, use Adobe Premiere Pro, you can put in some 4K clips, but as long as it's basic editing, right? You know, like slicing, dicing, putting them together, adding transitions, basic ones, nothing too intense, right? This will work. Also, for those who are interested, uh, this does not have an upgradable RAM. You get what you buy. So be careful about that. And it does have a replaceable M2 SSD uh, slot that's accessible, but you can only have up to one TB. Now let's talk battery. And I'm really happy that finally we have an Intel based Windows laptop that can compete with the battery performance of the Apple Silicon. I mean, I've been able to pull a full day's worth of my usual office work on a single charge. So I can just pick this up and leave without my charger and not worry about this running out of juice. And hey, even if you do run out of battery, right? You can charge this with any type C charger. It could be your phone charger. It could be a power bank. Although you do get a 65 watt charger in the box. Okay, now I want to talk about some other things that really make up the entire experience of using this laptop, which is the trackpad, the keyboard and the speakers. First, the speakers. So it's got a four speaker system, two tweeters and two subwoofers. And honestly, I've not heard a Windows laptop as small as this produce as much sound as this does. Here's a sample. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. Now, obviously the base is not going to be as good as you might want, but for a chassis that's as thin as this, I think it's one of the best I've heard. Okay, now the keyboard. And honestly, I think it's fantastic. Just give this a listen.
I also really like the gap between the keys. It's pretty good um, and I'm able to type quite fast with high accuracy and that's just what I need. But more importantly, it's really soft and very quiet, which is great for workplaces. And even if you work on your laptop sitting next to your significant other at night, still annoying, but a little less. The trackpad is really nice and large, uh, very smooth and nicely flush with the palm rest area. Uh, what's really cool is that you can control your screen's brightness by sliding on the right edge, uh, control the volume by sliding on the left edge, and also swipe on the top edges to go forwards or backwards in videos. I mean, that I think is really useful and I really believe that all laptops should come with that functionality now. Also, I didn't talk about the video camera, right? The webcam. So here's a sample. All right, guys, so this is the video quality that you'll get from you know, the web cameras on this uh, laptop. There are two microphones that I can see right here, and this is what the uh, audio sounds like. Now, there are some, you know, portrait effects that you can try, and I'm going to just, you know, show it to you over here. So let's go and turn on standard blur. Yeah, so this is what this laptop does, you know, when you want to sort of blur your background. Otherwise, there's also a portrait mode. Which, oh yeah, that's nicer. It's, it's a little softer. There's also automatic framing. So, you know, if I turn that on and if I go to the left, hopefully it's going to track me. Uh, is it going to? Yeah, it's fine. Now, slowly. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it, you know, it just sort of. But honestly, laptop webcams are not really the best option these days for video calls. Uh, you can just hook up your phone. There are plenty apps that actually connect with your phone's camera and then you can use your phone's uh, primary camera uh, for the video call, which I think is a much better option. But yeah, let's conclude this video. So honestly, if you were to ask me, I would only suggest the ZenBook S14 if you were looking for a high performance everyday laptop. I mean, this will do pretty much everything you needed to do without breaking a sweat. So yeah, there you have it, the ZenBook S14. Very little to complain about. I mean, except maybe the pricing that may not appeal to a lot of you. But if you've got a budget that's close to this one, I would say stretch it out and just get this because this is not gonna disappoint you. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, thoughts, let me know in the comment section. And of course, I'll do all I can to help you guys out. Uh, if in case there are any doubts, you know, just let's discuss there. Uh, and if you did enjoy watching the video, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel guys, and hit that bell notification icon, mark all, really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.